Today we're visiting Rich and Paige Udell in the Villages, Florida. We've just taken delivery of a brand new Callaway Corvette C8 called the Launch Edition. And we're going to speak with Rich in just a moment about his car and he's going to tell us all about all the amenities and all of the uh, extras that are on this beautiful uh, Callaway C8 Corvette. So let's go and have a nice chat with Rich. We are with Rich Udell, who is the very proud, and I don't blame him one bit, owner of this beautiful, gorgeous, you ready for this folks? Callaway Corvette. C8 Corvette. Look at the interior, it's absolutely gorgeous. And look at the, I, I just, the wheels, the wheels, the wheels, look at the wheels, they're absolutely incredible. I just love that. And there's more over here, and check the wing on the back. I mean, we're talking serious wing here. <laughs> this is really good. And I love the plate. That's awesome. <laughs> so tell me, young man, this uh, car, how did you, how did you come about, I mean, did you get up one morning and say, I want a Callaway Corvette? How did that work out? Well, we have a very long-term relationship with Reeves Callaway. <clears throat> and most people don't know this, but the Callaway family actually is bifurcated. One of them does the golf club end of it, and the other one has, which is Reeves Callaway, has been involved with General Motors for over 30 years, which all started with a shake of the hand. General Motors saying, would you help us fill a niche that we don't do production-wise? And it has been that way for 30 years. Callaway is the only one that Chevrolet shares information, data, uh, engine management, and all of this type of thing. So this particular car that you're looking at is Callaway's prototype for the C8 Corvette. Now this car at this point in time has the front suspension modified because the C8 as is well known has a little bit of push. Yep. So the car has been lowered. There has been redesign work done on the front suspension and then it has a tuned exhaust. If you look at the back it has the traditional double D Callaway exhaust and all of that carbon fiber has been engineered and designed by Callaway. You'll notice the wing is adjustable, a track ready wing and the really interesting part about this is most and the big complaint about wings is you can't load luggage. This one is set up and they have redesigned the um, gas shocks so that it pulls it up and you have full access to the um, storage compartment in the rear of the car. The rocker panels on this car are again all one-off Callaway which will be on their Callaway Corvette and you alluded earlier to the wheels. These wheels are made in Germany to Callaway's design and specifications. They remove 26 pounds of rotational weight from a factory Corvette wheel. That's excellent. And then the front splitter, if you'll notice, is again all Callaway designed. It is, I think, a beautiful, beautiful functional piece. The aerodynamics on the car is all functional, um, uh, tunnel tested, and this should be really the next generation, and in my humble opinion, they are going to offer two versions. One is going to be an aspirated version, and then they will also have a forced induction, a 
um, uh, we used to call them in the old days blowers, but that is coming. This car will go back to old Lyme, Connecticut in February and will be turbocharged, I mean uh, supercharged. And so there is also interior appointments that's specific if you notice the door jams and so on and so forth, all are Callaway. So it, this is the prototype car. They have two mules that they take out on the track and they test everything and then it goes into this car. This car just got back from uh, my wife Paige and I took it to Chicago for the uh, Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals and it scored 996 points out of a thousand and it was also awarded the best Corvette of the show and that is the premier show for muscle cars and Corvettes in the world. They come as, from as far away as South Africa to see that show. So that was this past weekend. Excellent. So, Rich, uh, if somebody wanted to buy a Callaway package uh, today and um, let's say I wanted to take my uh, C8 up to Callaway and say to them, uh, you know, I want to get the Callaway package, um, is that uh, in place yet or are they still working the kinks out or what's going on with that? They're still working the kinks. Um, I wouldn't say kinks. They're still trying to determine exactly the different levels, one being aspirated one being forced induction. And then they are also considering the possibility that many people are relatively handy and on the C8 Corvettes, rocker panels, splitters, and things like that are very easy to install. So Callaway is, at this point in time, looking at whether or not this would be something that would be mutually beneficial for the person that didn't want to go all the way, but there's certain things such as rocker panels that they wanted or splitters that they wanted or wings that they wanted because Callaway designs its own wings. And as a matter of fact, I didn't mention this, but General Motors has approached Callaway and many of these items may be what they call RPO items. So when you go into order your Corvette, you can order A, B, C, D, and E of Callaway, oh, and good. it will ship to the dealer without rocker panels or without a splitter, so you're not buying it twice. And they'll install it and at the dealership. they'll dealer. install it there. That's another alternative that Callaway. Now, now what are you doing? Uh, I think you said, uh, we talked earlier about uh, you're going uh, to Wakasho or you're going to be showing this car around the country, I guess. We are. We are. That's part of our partnership with Callaway, but the closest place that people can see the car is in Orlando and it's early in December and it's the Central Florida Automobile Dealers Association uh, show in Orlando and everybody is welcome. I don't think there's a charge to come in. Most all the dealers will have their wares and this particular Callaway will be in a display with the village vets. They have I think a, a Corvette uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, if I'm not mistaken, and that will be the village vets um, uh, were asked to participate in this show. One other thing that I probably failed to mention when we were looking at the wheels is also the fact that these wheels are uh, inch, inch and a half wider than the standard wheel. So that gives you a little bit or considerably more with the lightweight, better handling, and better maneuverability. So pretty much set up for a track car too. If you want to take it to the track, this would be very comfortable on the track. It would be. It would be very much at home, and there's even a tow bar. And one last look at the engine here. Um, I see you've got the Callaway signature right on the uh, top of the... That is correct. And this... Cover, which looks beautiful. This particular car has a fully tuned exhaust, and it does have some performance uh, modifications from a naturally aspirated standpoint. The exhaust of this car, it, the sound of it is just amazing, I think. I love the sound of it. I think we ought to start it up. I think that might be a good idea. <laughs> All right. Which is going to start up. Beautiful double D. Callaway exhaust, which is one of their signatures, and uh, here we go. There you have it. 
Richard Page Udell's Callaway Corvette C8 Launch Edition. And I'm sure we'll see more of this car in the coming months all over the United States. So stay tuned. And by the way, if you have not subscribed, uh, by all means, take the opportunity now and hit that subscribe button. And uh, also, if you like the video, then hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. I read all the comments. So don't be shy. Make a con Leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.